Nico chain broiler. They're having trouble with uh, the ignition. It's not wanting to light. They're having to light it manually. First observation, plug, icing it brown. I know this to be true of my fryers. I don't know for sure to be true with Nico, but I would bet. Uh, the ignition modules in these require a constant ground. So if it doesn't sense a ground, it knows that it is a risk if it powers up and it will not. So first things first, I'm changing the plug, uh, which is easy peasy. I mean, I just fed through here um, and then that wires into that. So we're gonna start with this, then we'll open that up, fire it up, see if the ignition module lights, the glow rod should hit. I'm betting she'll fire right up. Alright, we are back in. Nuts plugged in. I'm gonna shimmy back here and plug in the unit. We're gonna open this side before we turn it on, and then we'll talk through the sequence of operations. We'll see if it's behaving. I don't want to walk through the sequence of operations on this for a second. So when we turn it on, it powers, this is the ignition module, okay? this does all of the intelligence. That opens the gas solenoid to allow it into the system. <clears throat> so it first runs in and goes into the pilot system. And then this is a glow rod. This is supposed to glow cherry red when it lights. And then that is what ignites the tube it lights it, the gas then runs through this connector to down here, which lights these, offers the flame for the gas coming to the bottom tube. This is a flame sensor that once this recognizes the whole thing is lit, it shuts off the pilot system, and then it turns over control to the gas valve to the thermostat. So then the pilot stays on, and then the gas just is gonna throttle on and off as the thermostat calls. Let me turn this on, okay, and I noticed something, let's see if we can see it, so that, see that glowing right there, you know, it looks like it's glowing, but it's supposed to be a very, very large flame, like, not flame, but I'm going to grab a new one and show you, so like, that's lighting, but it's not igniting the gas, I can hear it trying, also, it looks like that burner box is terribly dirty. I think it could be partially bad igniter, partially disgusting burner box. So, let me pull this out and show you what I've got. Okay, so let me show you. I'm going to turn this on. I've got the glow rod pulled out. I want you to watch it light. Now, if I were on the phone with you and you were a technician, and I would say, is it lighting up? And you'd say, yes. And we'd say, well, it's not a bad glow rod. We're good. Because it is lighting. It is heating up. Let me watch it again. It is heating up. <clears throat> but I'm telling you from experience, I don't think that's enough. Let me swap these. And this is quick and simple. Obviously, we keep these on stock, uh, on hand. Two-blade terminals, quick and easy. I'm not gonna mount it. I'm gonna hang it and show you the difference. I also want to express something else. So I ought to be doing this a little more under the hoods. So I'm a little bit forward because when I turn this on, the uh, it's just the pilot gas, <clears throat> but the gas does come on. And so at least I want the hoods pulling it out. I don't want it to build up gas in it. All right, let's turn this on now, and let's look at this new one and see if there's a difference. Look at that. See. That's how it's supposed to light up. The other one I don't think is, I just don't think it's strong enough to light it. I'm gonna just stick this in here for a minute and see. Whoosh, yep, lit right up. So, yeah. Uh, crazy, because it wasn't failed. Again, if, if you were a technician out here and you were not understanding how this worked and you called me and we talked through the sequence of operations i would have asked you is this thing lit up and you would have said yep and you'd have been 100 percent right but it wasn't lit up enough mm -mm. So, all right 
We're gonna cut the zip ties, we'll get our new one wired in proper. Then we'll fire it up, talk to the sequence of operations, make sure we don't have anything else going on. of operations, valve, open, gas, light, follow it down, light the bottom two, bottom is lit, once the bottom's lit, you can't see it right there, on the inside of this there's a flame sensor, that tells the unit we are properly up and running, good to go, so we're going to let this run, so that that gets to turn off because that just connects the flame from the top to the bottom to light it. There's no glow rod down here. The light's up there and then chases down to light the bottom. Bottom's still lit. So, all right, we need the wires secured up. Uh, we're gonna let it hit temp. This one should be good to go. Let's check it again one more time. Make sure we don't have a fluke. <laughs> Nico, keep these around. <clears throat> keep these and keep this flame sensor around. So when they put these tubes in, they slide in from the other side, right here. And when they slide them in, if they don't get it right, it'll be poking up and they'll put the flame sensor in there and then they'll lower it down and they'll snap that off. Then it won't stay lit. It'll light, but it won't stay lit. And the ignition, uh, one of these things, yeah, this starts flashing failed ignition. So. Button her up.